I think it's almost two pounds of turkey per person these days. I almost say that potatoes have to be the same ratio. Make loads of potatoes. There's three things. You want to make sure that you don't leave the potatoes in your cooked water too long because what happens is it starts to turn into a rubber band. Another thing is, and Rach is huge on this, is cream and milk and butter. And it has to be hot because hot. you're emulsifying these ingredients together. And if this bad boy ain't hot, it's gonna look like spackle on the side of my cabinet. And this is the last but least thing that every single human in the world should yes. have one of these in their house. Even, Rach, even if you just use it on tea day and Christmas, a food mill. Now, granted, if you're in a New York apartment and you can barely even put your shoes in your oven because it's where you're holding everything, <laughs> I get it. But this has a handle on it. This could be an ornament. This could be anything. You need a food mill. This is a game changer. I in the agree. Corner. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to do a bake because I find that a lot of things you can do ahead of time. Potatoes are one of those things two or three days in advance. If you're not just doing a hot mash on the table, this is going to be the forgiving dish. So what I did here is I wanted to do one that was no peel. So I took, Rach, full russet potatoes, just like this, washed and clean, covered them in cold water. Once that hot water came up, I added salt to them. I drained them, I let them sit for a minute. Now all you have to do is when they're slightly warm still, you just take a little butter knife and they peel off. Now a lot of people would say, oh, I'd throw the peels Amazing. away. No, air fry these puppies, Rach, put them in an the air fryer with some seasoning, chop up the crispy skins on the end, fold them into your mashed potatoes at the end. I'm gonna take my ricer and all you guys have to do, you just put these guys right in and it's literally just as easy as this, is food milling and pushing a potato through. You food mill them, Rach, they come out, Gorgy gorge, Gorgy. just like this. Oh, so. oh, oh, so, so gorge. But here's the trick. You add your little warm, hot, scolding, melted butter, cream, and milk. If we're gonna go big during Thanksgiving, wear sweats and a hoodie and put milk and cream. Yes! In. Put both of them in the dish. <laughs> I have a homemade ranch powder that you guys have on rachelray.com. This is from everything inside our pantry here that you can make this from. You put ranch powder, or you can get the store-bought, if that's easier for you, that's how we ranchify them. Or you can do what Rach likes, which is that nice little herby cheese in this little Pour metal some. packet. Yes. A little bit of sour cream goes in. And when you mix it together, you put it inside a nine little eight by eight Pyrex pan. So this is sharp white cheddar. If you want blue, if you want brie, if you want camembert, to each their own. This is where you add your character to this dish. I took all the dry herbs in the ranch. So there's some thyme, there's a little bit of dry parsley, there's a little bit of dry chives. I mix it. I mix it with it a little out. breadcrumb. Yeah. Yeah, all the leftover bread. I put them yep. in a air fryer with a little bit of Italian vinaigrette, and then I throw them in the freezer and pulse them. That way I never buy breadcrumbs. Nice. This just sits in the fridge now. Wrap it up, it's done. Then you can take it out of the oven. Look at this. Ooh Look at that, gooey. it's gorgeous. All right, let's do a little mashup here on one of my favorites. Nobody's gonna know it's instant mashed potato trifle. Yes, this box has been a lifesaver for me in the culinary world. And when you put a lot of butter, a lot of cream and a lot of love into these, these dehydrated potato flakes are so great and they hold really well too. So here's what we're gonna do. We brought up water, we brought up a little bit of cream and a little bit of milk and some butter. When that comes up, those potatoes set. And I've gotta tell you guys, this is the potatoes I just made a couple minutes ago. They come out and they're super gorgeous. Some Parmesan goes inside here. You can do normal mashed potatoes, but this is how I'm gonna do it my way. I put it as a layer, Rach. In my little kitchen egg here is parsley, chives, olive oil, Parmesan, lemon juice, a little bit of pepper, salt. Here's the one kicker I wanted to kind of think, think giveify it. I put in some sage. Now pesto layer goes on top of those instant mashed potatoes. Gorgeous. Then we do this with another layer. So my air fryer has been popping here. I took two bags of frozen pearl onions. That's it. Air fried them, olive oil, salt, pepper. And now I'm going to do my next layer in, in, in my air fry mode. Last but not least, we're going to take a little bit more potatoes. You can make this vegetarian if you want with cremini mushrooms, Brussels sprouts, even put green beans in there raw with, the, not raw, but blanched. I want to put crispy bacon. The last of the potatoes go on. If you guys are heating everything up and making it all at that moment, here's all you have to do. You assemble this guy and you serve it. Or you can put it cold into your fridge and reheat it and bake it. When it comes out baked, you put on a little bit of fresh chives, a little bit of flat leaf parsley, some crispy fried leeks to onion-fy this yeah! trifle.